from how do I get started with virtual agronomy? The question that we got a lot of uh, requests for throughout the, the, the whole series. So let me start by, for each of the digital ag platforms, the setup might be a little bit different, but there are three main steps to follow. This is pretty much the logic of when you're trying to adopt a digital platform. You need your boundaries, you need your planting date, you need your crop type, um, and some platforms do not actually ask for crop types. For example, in Fluorosense, we do ask you for, to, to dedicate, to identify your crop type because we do generate and deliver crop type specific analytics. So this is pretty much the three things that you need to get started with digital agronomy and to begin your journey with virtual ag. Uh, you either bring in or draw your boundaries, your, you set your planting dates and estimated harvest date, and you specify your crop type. The fact that when I put those as like the three steps, I, before the session, I just recorded, let me play it for you, to highlight the thinking of the three steps, which should be common uh, when you're doing, starting on a digital platform. So you begin by bringing in, creating your farm and field and boundary. This is the step one. We said this is farm valley, the grower is John Smith, and we want to bring in his field. I can either draw it myself, or I can upload it. This is the case of I decided to draw the field boundary. So I picked the polygon, clicked on it, and I said, done. This is the second click. The third click is I need to set up my crop type. I said, I planted on the 28th of May. I I'm planning to harvest on the 9th of September, and it is corn. Voila. That's pretty much all you need to get done. As you can see here, as you were able to see a moment ago, it said processing. That means we're done, we have your boundaries, you, we know what crop you're talking about, when did you plant, when did you harvest, now let us do our business, let's go and get the imagery and all the other things that you can allow us to get. So this is the first route. The second route that you can take uh, to get started, which is quite unique about Fluorosense, is connecting to your existing farm management system. So, and here's the question of why did we do this? Why, why did Fluorosense want it to be unique in this capacity? And why did we spend 40% of our resources to create this link between Fluorosense and your farm management system? Many reasons. I'd like to highlight a few. The very first one is because we actually listened to our early customers' feedback. We, I, we identify that those customers helped us identify one of the biggest bottlenecks, which is moving field data between systems. And it, it quickly becomes very time consuming. And what's frustrating about all of it is that you already have all of that data somewhere else. On those farm management systems, let it be ProAgrica, Agrian, or AgWorld, you have your boundaries, you have your field data, you have what crop you're planting, you have when you actually plant it and when you expect to harvest. And you have a lot of information. So why replicate all of that effort? Why have to do this, this job again? And another reason which is quite related to this is the fact that there is a wealth of information. There's information about your crop rotation, there's information about yield, there's information about what applications you did that you have captured in these farm management systems. And, all, and these information will only make the analytics smarter. Something that I've tried to emphasize throughout the whole webinar is the fact that there's we need to aggregate multiple sources of data to reach, to become worthy of saying we have assisted an agronomist to making a decision. The more we know, the more we see, the more we're able to provide a piece of information that brings value. I do want to highlight that, you know, it's in the hands and it's in the decision of if someone decides to come through the route of I want to click on the integration, that's how I want to get started. It's up to you to decide how much you want to bring from ProAgrica, Agrian, or AgWorld. So just making that clear that that is a decision, that's a choice that you can do. And that way, you know, your time to value is extremely short by if you choose that route, when you by the time that you click and you link one of those platforms to Fluorosense, um, you will be able to be up and going from in about one to two hours. That means you have all your boundaries, all your crop types, and all of your <coughs> planting dates. 
So this should cover how do I get started.